applying the new paradigm. Now, when you talk about applying the new paradigm, let's give the folks a, a quick overview of what the new parad of what the new paradigm is and what it's all about, and then let's dig a little bit deeper. Okay, I'd like to respond to this firstly in terms of principles, then in terms of practice. Okay. So for principles, the easiest way for me to describe this is as an analogy um, with, in the UK we have something called bespoke products and services, um, and that's similar to 100% individualized. So what provides a very, very good example is the manufacturer of handmade shoes. So this has two elements to it, it has the service side and it has the production side. On the service side, the skill of the consultant rather than salesperson is to get to precisely what the person is looking for, so they can design exactly what it is that they're looking for. And then on the production side, what happens is I don't know whether you're familiar with something called a shoe last. Does that mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Okay, what a shoe last is, is it's a profile of each individual foot, which is made uh -huh. in wood. Uh -huh. So yeah. it, it, each shoe is different for each foot. So it's down to that level of, de of detail. Then the last is used to manufacture the shoe around, to hand make and hand stitch the shoe around it. Okay. So where this provides an analogy with coaching is that the only way to deliver coaching, in my opinion, is through 100% personalized one-on-one -on -one services, which brings it all together. So if we come to the service side of that, then that's all about actually finding out what it is, design, finding out what it is that the client's looking for. And on the production side, the equivalent of that is designing the program. So the service is getting to what's being looked for. The program is translating it into a program. So again, it's kind of being and doing to some extent. Yeah, so it sounds like it's fully, I mean, to me, it sounds like it's a fully customizable, um, you offer and you suggest a fully customizable experience that is unique to each, each coach-client relationship. No, I'd go further than that. I mean, if you look at the different models, you have off the peg, which is like sales and marketing, or going into a shop and buying something, you have tailored which is the equivalent of what you call customizable, and you have bespoke, which is 100% handmade from the very beginning. So okay. it's there's a this slight slight difference between the two. Yeah, I see. And by the way, I want to provide a little English to English translation. Um, off the peg, folks, means off the rack here in the United States. It was funny when I heard you say <laughs> when I heard you say off the peg. I'm like, I think I know what that means, but I want to wait until he describes it a second time. So yeah, but no, it's it's okay. I had a very interesting conversation with somebody. We'll have to talk about. I can't. I will definitely not talk about this on air because of what they accidentally said. But I guess there's a saying in the UK that's very respectful. And there's a, and that same saying here in the United States is a racial slur. It was kind of very interesting. So I said, by the way, you might want to say this. So I always love when things like that happen. Anyway, back to the important thing. So you take it, and, it's, and I don't mean to diminish it when I say customize. So you take it down. I think we're actually talking about the same thing. I mean, it's an indi maybe a better way to put it is individualized experience so that it's a unique experience. Uh, each client-coach relationship becomes a unique experience in the end for the client and sometimes for the, for the you know, for the coach. I would think for the coach as well, right? Absolutely, for both. And this is what you've been striving for, which runs all the way through from where the gap, where the match is between your true gift and where it will have greatest impact. This runs through the whole system process practice. Yeah, and it would seem to me that if you started with your gifts and your challenges that you went through, it's not only easier to do a completely individualized, but it's almost the only way you can do a completely individualized program and not pull your hair out. And here's what I mean. 
you know, people who are hearing us, coaches who are watching us might be scared and go, how the heck am I going to create an individualized experience for every one of my clients? And it's like, well, if you're just, if you just went to coaching school, if you, I should say, if you only went to coaching school and aren't implementing your life, you're going to find it very tough because you're going to be doing a lot of work. However, if you're using your life and your experiences and your gifts, you're going to find it, I would think anyway, and Dennis, please chime in here, I would think you'd find it much easier and almost effortless because you're, you're, everything's already inside of you. And if you're coaching in abundance, you're, go ahead. Right. The way, the way that I'd respond to this is number one, we're a coaching practice who coach coaches. A critical part of the, of, of the process is for the coachee to experience the program. So they've been through it for themselves. So then they know how to apply it with their clients. So that's, if you like, is the set of relationships. So it's a kind of chain reaction in terms of the coaching practice. They have an experience of someone getting to their true gift and where it's the greatest um, impact. They learn how to do it with their clients. So it's a bit similar to the kind of psychotherapy stroke supervision model, but it's also different. Right. So let me ask you this, as, as we're, you know, we got a couple minutes left in the show today, and as we're winding down, um, when we're talking about applying the new paradigm and everything else, how does this allow you to attract your ideal client abundantly? Because, and, and I'm going to just say one real quick thing to follow up, because when I think of attracting abundantly, I figure, okay, I'm going to go out and do what I do best, and um, I'm going to do right by people. And I'm going to, and the result is I'm going to get my ideal client, and um, it's going to be easier than most other methods of getting my ideal client. Okay, so this is where the link with marketing comes in. Um, the marketing piece is a combination of software, virtual organization, whatever that gets the message out there and mass communicates, whereas the personal piece is when the virtual organization delivers the people face to face with one another. So it is actually a combination. Marketing's still there, but the messaging's completely different. And it's the enrollment process is where all the key changes happen. Ah. So that's why there's such a strong focus on enrollment. Epic. And you know, in the end, it's I think what I'm hearing is is this. One of the one of the areas that this all helps to kind of uh, make easier and more seamless and put you in the flow is is I'll say two things. One, getting ideal clients to come to you because your ideal message is out there. So the right people are going to resonate with it so that when the right people resonate with it and they're in front of you and you be your true and authentic self and you coach them from day one, even when it's not a paid relationship, maybe from day one, it's going to make it much seem more seamless to enroll them into your programs and into your, into your packages and everything. Do, do, I, do I got that right or did I miss something? Absolutely. And the other thing is, is on the marketing side, the infrastructure is all in place. I pay less than a hundred bucks a month. A month. Um, I don't need any sophisticated equipment um, and um, don't even run a website. I do have landing pages, um, but they're easily put together on WordPress or stuff like that. So it's actually very, very cost effective. The main thing is how you're reaching out, how you're connecting and how you're getting that message out in the right kinds of places to as many people as possible. But because I deal with a very generic topic like um, facilitating tough and complex decisions and resolving dilemmas, that could apply to a whole load of people in all sorts of different situations. Yep, exactly. Well, Dennis, it's been epic having you on the show today. Folks, we've been talking today on Expert Showcase with Dennis Roberts during the first half of the of this of the of the show. If you haven't watched it, you gotta go back and watch Dennis's hero's journey to understand why he's the one you need to reach out and talk to when it comes to enrolling clients abundantly, because you understand the challenges he was through, he went through, and why he's a success he is today. And then in this segment, we talked about identifying your precise niche putting the client first and applying a new paradigm, 
That was officially the last time I think I'll say the word niche. And for those of you keeping track, I think I hit five. I don't know. You better be keeping track at home. You settle up when you want to settle up. But Dennis, this has been epic. Before I give kind of an epic rollout and get people over to your web, to your to your LinkedIn profile, and everything else I got to tell the folks as we wrap up, is there any last words you want to leave our audience with today? Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Have fun. Love it. So, folks, I just threw Dennis's, Dennis's LinkedIn profile address up on the screen, uk.linkedin.com slash in slash Dennis Roberts one, and that's a number one on the end and only one N in his name. And I think, Dennis, I got through with no double N. So for those of you who took the zero, you got the under. Hey, maybe you made it a, was it a defector? I don't even know. But anyway. So, folks, today's been another epic episode of Experts Showcase. We had an epic guest on in Dennis Roberts. He showed us how to enroll clients abundantly. And for coaches, you need to be able to attract and enroll clients abundantly and seamlessly because if you don't, it's a struggle. It's a stress. It's frustration. Dennis has been through it. I've been through it. All the people I've ever known in coaching practice have gone through it at one point or another. It's tough out there to get clients, especially if you're not being yourself. And that's part of enrolling clients abundantly is being yourself, being the true and authentic you that, you know, being the true and authentic you that will attract your ideal clients to you, attract the ideal people to you, attract the people to you, and then make it seamless once they get in because it's much better to have 10 people approaching you, 10 ideal clients approaching you a week and enrolling all 10 than having 3,000 trying to reach you and still only enrolling 10. In the end, you still have 10 clients either way, but you spend less time, less money, less effort, less frustration if you figure out how to enroll clients abundantly. And to do that, reach out to Dennis, contact him on his LinkedIn profile. You can find detailed information of his work with a link on uh, to the paper on the new paradigm and an invitation to a gift coaching session. His email address is djr at menta.me.uk. You can contact him directly as well. Once again, reach out to Dennis. You need to, you need to get a hold of this guy's resources. You need to see what he can do for you. Folks, it's been another epic day. Thank you for your time. Dennis, thank you again for joining us. And everyone, until we meet again, make it an epic day. To watch the rest of this epic episode now, click on the link below the video. Do it now. You'll be glad you did. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? Watch the rest of this epic episode now by clicking on the link below the video.